My friend, what's good? Welcome to another video. If we haven't met yet, my name is Ted and I talk bass. Before we get into this video, check it. A lot of my views are coming from non-subscribers. I appreciate you watching, but do your boy a favor, hit that subscribe button. I want to get a silver play button too. Look, today we're going to talk about the MXR uh, M82 envelope filter, the 15, 15 year anniversary all blacked out version. I'm going to go through some of the settings, play a little bit, and show you how this little thing works. You ready? Let's get into it. So just so you know, everything is the same as far as the knobs, the way that you know the, the knobs are laid out, all the controls are the same. This is the older one but it's still the M82 uh, envelope filter, all right? So let's get into how it works. I'm gonna put this one aside. So everything right now is at 12 o'clock. On the top, you've got your dry controls and your effects, and those do exactly what, what it sounds like. You can dial in the amount of dry and effects. Let's see if I play something like this. Uh, I'm going to turn the dry all the way down. That's cool, but now in a in a live situation, definitely going to get drowned out. So what I like to do is I like to have that at 12 o'clock. That way I can get some of the dry, you know, much of the dry signal. And sometimes I'll even turn the effect down just a little bit. Now, from there, those knobs are pretty self-explanatory, but these guys, on the left-hand side, we've got the, de the decay, and the decay is going to control the length of the envelope effect. So I'm going to turn it all the way over to the left. Let's check this out. So you notice when it's turned all the way to the right, I barely get any effect, um, any of that wall effect. Um, I'm not going to turn the mic down for the rest of this. So you'll hear also the ambient sound of the bass in the room. But let's dial in a little bit more of that effect. You see what I'm saying? That's the length of the uh, the envelope effect. Now, the Q control is going to adjust the intensity of that effect. So the decay, how long that effect is, the Q control is going to uh, control how intense the effect is. Let's turn it all the way to the left. You barely hear it. Let's dial it in. So the the so the Q control 
will adjust the intensity of the effect. And then there's the sensitivity knob. The sensitivity knob, when that's all the way to the left, and I'm playing, I gotta dig in before the effect even takes, you, you know, you really get the effect. Even when it all the way to the left, even when I dig in pretty hard, I'm not, I'm not really getting what I want. So let's turn it to about right there. Dial it in some more. Now I get more of the effect, but I can have a lighter touch. When I turn it all the way over to the right, I'll get more of that effect with a lighter touch. I personally am typically somewhere in there. That's my setting. Let me bring this up a little bit, uh, a little bit larger here. And I'm gonna cover the fretboard a little bit because I want you to see the settings. It's not really about what I'm playing right now, but more about the pedal. So those are the settings that I use 90% of the time. What I did just now is I dialed in a little bit more of the dry signal, turned down the effect a little bit. So yeah, it all depends on what you are, you know, what your flavor is, but that's where I tend to put um, put the settings on this effect. And I just want to share this with you. I think this new um, blacked out version is real dope. And uh, I'm a big fan of all the MXR pedals. So check one out today. I don't have any affiliate links or anything like that, but you know, I, if, if you're into, uh, if you're into funk and, and that type of thing, I think this is one of the best pedals that you could buy um, that's gonna last a long time as well. So this is my second one. I've had this guy for many years and it's still going strong, but you know, that one's all black. You know, look at me. Anyway, I hope you dug the video. If you did, go and hit that subscribe button. Won't cost you a thing and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, Toothpaste.